Hello, I hope all is well. So, for RuneScape veterans like myself, dying in-game is something we've been doing since we first started playing, and while as veterans most of our deaths may be related to higher tier PVM content, or in my case here, just trying to train prayer at the Chaos Altar, when we were noobs early in the game we had some silly places we died, at least I did, so I'm going to share some of those and just kind of talk about the progression of where we may have died as brand new free-to-play noobs and then a couple more common places we died later on as uh, early members kind of noob, noob members trying to get into that early to mid game here I'll tell you there is nothing quite like that oh dear you are dead and then arriving back in Lumbridge so first up we have highwaymen so when you were a noob these were aggressive up until you were about level 11 or so so when you were that brand new noob with a wooden shield and bronze sword these guys would come across you. If you had no run left, you may be in some serious trouble. Up next is possibly one of the most infamous places to die as a free-to-play player. These dark wizards outside Varrock could hit up to 6 damage, and with their magic level, likely you having no magic or very low at the time with some metal armor, they could absolutely shred you. I cannot tell you how many times I died here, and then as I got a little bit later, I hate to say I did drag some newer players there to get uh, killed as well. So up next, and these are in no particular order, but Scorpions. So anytime you were mining in Alcaherid or below Faldor, these guys were aggressive up till about level 29 on you. And if you didn't have any food because you were looking, on, looking to pick up a bunch of ores, they could be uh, potentially deadly. So as you get into the more of the mid free to play game and venture out a little bit maybe you've upgraded to some nice adamant armor going down into the dungeon the ice dungeon down here north south of port serum trying to fight these ice warriors and ice giants this is a place that i myself uh, got trapped and uh, couldn't figure out how to get out in time ran out of food and did get taken out by these giants i hope i am not the only one there all right, and finally for the free-to-play video, we have Elvarg. So this was by far the toughest boss we had, or only real boss we had in free-to-play. And going in here unprepared, maybe forgetting your dragon fire shield, or simply underestimating it using your Addy longsword or maybe your rune dagger, and just not having enough DPS, I definitely died to Elvarg the first time. So moving into members, looking at some of the first content you may have done, you know, not venturing too far out of Lumbridge just yet, but going down below the swamp. Maybe you went without a candle or any light source, or maybe you took a uncovered candle uh, without knowing the perils that it presented. I do not believe the warning system was as thorough back in the day as it is now. So you would run into things like your candle exploding for big damage, or getting hit by a wall beast, or even once your light was out, the rapid ones that would stack on you from the insects creeping along the ground so this was definitely a place that I died that you could have easily died as a pretty new member alright so coming up next maybe early on in your slayer journey maybe you were level 50 or 60 when you became a member had that rune armor and you got assigned cave crawlers so you looked up where to find them on tip.it and perhaps you overlooked the site the uh, section that said you needed anti-poison so you went up there to start killing them, you took your rune scimitar, maybe you had a dragon log by then, and all of a sudden you're getting hit an 8 from poison. And you didn't bring much food because you didn't think they were a very high level, and you forgot to teleport. You're stuck up here in the Fremening province with no bank nearby, and that poison would get to you. So this also happened to me as a noob, I died up here, and this was before safe death, so I lost some stuff. And uh, losing that rune med helm was actually quite devastating back in the day. So next on my list for fairly new members were the Chaos Druids down here in level 1 and 2 Wilderness. And this is, I think, a case of underestimating the difference of pay-to-play Wilderness versus free-to-play Wilderness. I never felt the slightest bit unsafe in free-to-play Wilderness. There was nobody that uh, could get me in level 2 Wild. But that was a whole new ballgame. Once I found out the money to be made off Unids for 1k each down here... I was unaware of the power of Teleblock and Entangle, having limited food here because I wanted space for those herbs, and I was PK'd down here for a decent amount of money. On that same boat, I didn't want to just lump the whole wilderness in together. 
but green dragons. I remember way back when being able to sell the green dragon hides for uh, 1k each and the bones for 2k each. I was probably getting ripped off. This was in the pre-GE days, but the same thing happened. I would take a full inventory of like lobsters, but uh, my rune armor and dragon longsword or scimitar was absolutely no match for the skilled PKers, the elf mage, the kids rank of the days coming after me with flames of Zamorak. I did not know it was hitting me. All right, and finally here on my list for places we died as noobs, this is when you're getting into the, I almost want to say mid-game back in the day in 2005, 2006, and you would venture into the Brimhaven dungeon. Now, there was a lot of good stuff here back in the day, some metal dragons, fire giants, black demons, certain slayer tasks you would get, but you would wander down here, and then maybe you drop your axe because you just brought a bronze one, you needed space to pick things up. Maybe you were there killing black demons or fire giants and you wandered a little too far and got scorched without a dragon fire shield. Or maybe you simply were down here killing metal dragons, had your dragon fire shield on, but you ran out of anti-fire potion, you had dropped your axe and you were counting on the home telly out, but you did not have a safe haven in a place where you could get away to cast that home telly. So you were just simply beaten down and eventually died. This happened to me a couple times. I remember losing over a thousand chaos runes uh, back here. One of my main money makers was killing these guys, hoping for those D legs, and uh, that was a big loss back in the day. All right, and that is going to wrap up my video of 10 places we died as noobs in RuneScape. I do hope you found it somewhat interesting. If you have any other places you died, feel free to comment them in the uh, comment section, and I'd be interested in hearing. But uh, in this case here, I did not die. I managed to get 95 prayer. I'm getting so close to 126. Finally going to get that uh, achievement on the main here that I've been working on for many years. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.